respectfully, the Saudi Crown Prince Mohammed bin Salman is speaking in Riyadh. Salman, to welcome you to your second homeland and to convey his wishes for the success of this summit, which comes amid dire, painful time as we reiterate our condemnation of this ferocious, brutal war under which our Palestinian brothers are reeling, as a result of which thousands of civilians were killed, hospitals, places of worship, worship were destroyed. The kingdom has been exerting uh, concerted efforts, continued to consult and coordinate with brother and friendly states to put an end to this war. And based on this, we immediately call for the cease of military operation, provision of military, uh, provision of humanitarian cor corridor, and release of captives and prisoners and spare of innocent civilian lives. This is a humanitarian catastrophe that proved the failure of the international community and the Security Council to put an end to Israel's gross violations of international laws and the international humanitarian law, and proves the dual standards adopted by the world that will undermine peace and security of the world. This requires us to concerted efforts and effective actions in the face of this re painful, regretful, and we call for the end of siege, delivery of aid, uh, medical supplies and provision of other su supplies and the exit of the victims and patients. We reiterate our rejection of the aggression and forcible transfer of the citizens, and we hold the Israeli occupation forces authorities for the crimes against the Palestinian peoples. We are certain that the only course for peace is the end of the Israeli occupation, siege and illegal settlement, and the restoration of the established lawful right for, rights of the Palestinian people and the establishment of their state on 1967 borders with East Jerusalem as its capital. This will guarantee the peace and security of the region and the states within. Thank you. I give the floor to the Secretary General of the League of Arab States, Ahmed Abul Ghaid. Your Royal Highness Prince Mohammed bin Salman Abdul Aziz Al Saud, the Crown Prince and Prime Minister of Saudi Arabia. Your Majesties, Your Highnesses, Your Excellencies, ladies and gentlemen, Israel's war on Gaza Strip is not the first, yet we all hope and wish it will be the last. Israel, from day one, to uh, occupy the strip and to have the population expelled or transferred. Their sick wishes reached one of their racist ministers to nuke the strip. To that extent, the Israeli hatred has come against unarmed civilian Palestinians who deserve all appreciation and support. As we speak, Israel has killed more than 11,000 civilians, 70 percent of whom are women and children. It is a genocide and ethnic cleansing systematic violence campaign under the eyes of the whole world. Violence and blood that will seed more hatred for the generations to come. We call on the United Nations Security Council to relieve the Palestinians from the ferociousness of this war, yet failure after another as particular forces refuse to stand up to Israel to put an end to their aggression against what has happened on October 7, justifying these crimes as self-defense. I have three major points, bullet points, to stress. First, the cease fire total and lasting is a priority which should be worked towards, priority that transcends above any other consideration. We should, those who work towards preventing the expansion of war should realize that the continued killing machine of Israel will raise the possibilities of regional confrontation. Second, the total, uh, the forcible transfer of the people of a strip is an international war crime and flagrant violation of the international humanitarian law rejected by the Palestinians, the Arabs, and the whole world. Yet, the Israeli radical forces do not wish to abandon their wishes to have a second transfer, which will not happen, and we cannot allow this to happen to achieve these fascist wishes. Third, we cannot speak about the future of Gaza without speaking of the future of West Bank and the 
occupied East Jerusalem. These are the parts of the Palestinian state on the basis of 1967 borders. Addressing the security and military solution towards Gaza without any political or, or diplomatic horizon is a waste of more time, and it will result in bringing us back to square one. Your Highnesses, your excellencies, ladies and gentlemen, some Western states started to respond to the idea of holding an international peace conference to address the root causes of the conflict based on the two-state solution despite the unbalanced dual standards that represented a shock to us by a number of states and officials, yet the international public opinion is waking up as it has woken up to the ferocious per pogroms perpetrated by the Israeli occupation forces. I believe that we should respond with those responding to the call for international peace conference, which will pave the way for a diplomatic course that will lead to the establishment of the two-state solution. Bringing uh, matters back to the course will be difficult and long. All the states will no doubt extend all the possible assistance the Palestinians and the Gazans deserve. Finally, we pray to God Almighty to grant solace to families of the victims and to accept in his mercy all the fallen martyrs. And here we should salute the memory of late President Yasser Arafat, whose the anniversary of his death coincides with today. And we join the world voices calling for the cease of this war immediately without further delay. Thank you.